Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to another Steam Winter Sale video. So this time I'm looking at very heavily discounted games. So minimum 90% off during this winter sale. Quite a lot of games and EA seems to be having a clearance sale of some kind. So we begin first with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So Mass Effect Legendary Edition is a remake of or remaster I should say of the entire uh, Mass Effect trilogy. So you get all the three games and all the content extra content dlcs and things like that all of it in one bundle and this whole thing is 90 percent off so this remaster actually came out only a couple of years ago or something and now it is 90 percent off so if you are a fan of rpgs if you are if you like space theme stuff definitely have a look at this so 299 only in india six dollars five pounds eight in canada six in the eurozone and uh, nine in australia Next is Injustice 2 from Warner Brothers Games and these uh, guys also tend to have massive sales. So this is your superhero fighting style of game and uh, this is also 90% off. In fact everything will be 90, I'll mention if it's more than 90. So 269 for this one, uh, $5, 4 pounds, 7 in Canada, 5 in the Eurozone. There's a Legendary Edition and this includes uh, more stuff I guess, more, uh, this, uh, okay, more heroes I guess. So this one is um, six dollars. How what's the price difference? Only a dollar difference. So I guess you could go for this one. Uh, six dollars, three twenty-four in India, five in the UK, eight in Canada. So only slightly more. Next we have a few Bethesda published games. We have Prey. Prey is from twenty seventeen. It shared the name from the Prey from two thousand six, but the game itself was completely different, but still very very well done and this is also on a massive sale i think this is a new low for this one it's been at this price twice only 139 in india three dollars 249 pounds and four in canada uh, the digital deluxe edition is not as highly discounted so i would say skip that for now just focus on the main game next is dishonored 2 also by the same studio and they have a demo and this is also the same price 139 in india three dollars 249 in the uk and for canada then we are on to some racing games and a lot of the need for speed stuff is extremely well priced so we have need for speed payback from 2017 and this one is 149 rupees three dollars 249 in the uk four in canada three in the eurozone Next we have Need for Speed Heat which is an even newer one from 2019 this time and this is 95% off. So this one was at this price last year sometime in September and after that this is only the second time it's dropped to that. It has been at as low as 90 but 95 this is only the second time only 175 rupees 350 dollars 3 pounds 450 in Canada. And we also have the oldest available Need for Speed game, I guess, and this is Need for Speed Most Wanted from 2012, not the 2005 version. And this one is only 100 rupees. $2, 179 in the UK, 269 in Canada, and 2 in the Euro. So this, I feel like, may get delisted soon. Because if you remember recently, the crew got delisted. The crew was from 2014. So that game got delisted in less than 10 years. And this one has been out for a little more than 10. So we may see this being dropped or delisted very soon. Then we have another racing game uh, also by EA and Codemasters. And this is Grid Legends. And this is a fairly new game. I don't know why this is so heavily discounted from 22. And this is 200, uh, 300 in India, $6, 5 pounds, 8 in Canada. The, okay, I'll skip this one because this is not as heavily discounted. But yeah, base game is again 90% off. Reviews seem to be positive, so I guess it can't be that bad. Next, we move on to sniping stuff, and this is Sniper Elite 4. And this is once again at the best price 117 only for the base game, $6, 4 pounds, and 664 in Canada. Deluxe version is also similarly discounted, I guess. Yeah, I guess uh, with such a small difference, maybe better to get the deluxe version. 173 in India, $9, $6.49 in the UK, $9.96 in Canada, and $9 in the Eurozone. 
Mirror's Edge. So the first sort of uh, open world first person parkouring game and from EA again and this is also it usually is at the same price the older stuff EA seems to put them at the same 90 percent off and it's next to nothing not even 100 rupees 99 two dollars 179 pounds and 269 in Canada now some more action FPS game and uh, this is the Shadow Warrior series both the first and second games are heavily discounted so yeah you are a assassin type person basically but just fighting stuff very gory hack and slash shooter as well made by flying wild hog and both the games are 90 percent off so we have the normal version we have the special edition is okay not 90 so this is 130 in india three dollars 249 pounds the sequel is i think the same yeah 130 three dollars 249 so you could try both of these games both have them have been given away in the past i think from multiple sources next we have hard reset redux this is also made by the same people who made shadow warrior and this is a cyberpunk themed fps game and this is even cheaper 88 rupees two dollars 167 pounds 259 in canada two in the eurozone now on to some multiplayer uh, fps games and we have the battlefield games heavily discounted and at the moment has a good player base as well some sort of return to like multiplayer for a lot of people this one so battlefield 4 here 249 four dollars and uh, 349 in the uk 549 in canada uh, maybe i mixed this up battlefield 4, no this is the old one So this is the one actually that has a resurgence of player base battlefield one and five four was a long time ago so this one here also same sort of price 249 but look we have 18,000 people playing four dollars 349 in the uk 549 in canada and then we have the a more newer one this is battlefield five and this has the best player base so 50,000 is pretty good on steam because these games tend to die out very quickly uh, on pc so uh, 208 in India, four dollars, 360 in the UK, 520 in Canada, four in the Eurozone. I suppose if you are only looking to buy one of these games, maybe this is the one, Battlefield 5 from 2018. Now we have a Souls-like game, Mortal Shell. So I played like the demo of this game before this game was released, and I kind of liked it. Uh, a sort of shorter Souls-like experience, if that makes sense. It's got some mixed reviews recently, but overall the game is very cheap and i wouldn't be too annoyed if it turns out to be not as good so this is um 80 rupees three dollars 249 pounds 329 in canada we also have star wars squadrons and reviews seem to be very mixed for this one i, I remember this being given away from like prime as well as i think epic and i don't recall it being considered a bad game but the reviews don't seem to be particularly great anyway this is 125 in india two dollars 175 pounds 275 in canada two euros uh okay not a lot of people playing understandably so then we have shadow tactics blades of the shogun so these guys um me 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 games they tend to make really nice games uh there's this one shadow tactics they also have desperados 3 and they also recently released a uh, uh, shadow gambit they all have this sort of isometric view very colorful worlds and they are mostly stealth games with some objectives to do and they are really really good games and this might be the best one overall so this is uh, 160 in india base price has gone up but it has been free from pretty much every uh, outlet so epic i think gog all of them have given this away four dollars 349 in the uk 499 in canada uh, we also have a sale on the metro games both the first two games are discounted heavily they did increase the regional price a little bit but with if they keep doing the 90 percent sales i guess it doesn't matter that much so i really like this one quite a lot the first metro and this is 150 in india two dollars um, 177 pounds and 274 in canada and the sequel last light some people like this a bit more this was a bit more polished i guess overall but the first game had an amazing atmosphere i mean it this one has it too but that was the first time we experienced that so i liked that more and this is same price 152 dollars 177 in the uk 
And then finally, I wanted to mention a game from Valve. So I picked Half-Life 2, but you can take anything from Valve, whether it's the Portal games, whether you have Left 4 Dead, anything. It's pretty much everything is 90% off. This, I guess, is probably the best game from them. Overall, only 48 rupees, 99 cents, 85 pence. You could also buy the orange box, which is Half-Life 2 and its two episodes, uh, the first Portal game and Team Fortress 2. Uh, or you could buy the Valve Complete Pack, all the games by Valve, or there's also a, a Half-Life Complete Pack. Most of them are very heavily discounted and I think a must-have for any PC gamer. So, uh, that is a look at games that are minimum 90% off. I'll get to my usual under $5, under $10 after this one. But yeah, I wanted to cover these because some of them are ridiculous how much of a discount they're giving, especially the EA stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.